hey guys welcome back today we have another problem from balance bracket category so the problem statement is remove the invalid parenthesis in any position in a given string so that the resulting parenthesis string is valid and return the resultant string the input string can actually contain all the lowercase english letters okay and they can contain only two types of bracket which is opening bracket and a closing bracket if you see the first input the text is interview doors with few opening bracket and closing brackets uh, the output is interview doors uh, with the balance brackets only what i mean by that is if you see the input there is a opening bracket there is a opening bracket closing bracket and closing bracket and there is another closing bracket here opening bracket and closing bracket but if you see this output this closing bracket is removed so this is a string right so we have removed only one character which is this one and finally returned the string with a balanced bracket inside it okay so yeah let's modify this uh, statement little bit uh, by removing minimum number of invalid bracket look at the second input there is one closing bracket which is removed and finally the string is returned a b c d right and for the last input uh, the output is empty string so what we can do here we can actually mark the invalid brackets and remove them that's it right okay. so now how will we do this okay how will we mark these invalid characters actually it's very simple if you know how to check a balanced bracket string it's very very simple okay and if you don't know please you know uh, you can go through one of my other videos to know how to check balanced brackets but if you know it is really very simple to check the balance bracket what do we do we usually use a stack right so let's go ahead and write a code where we will just mark the invalid characters so we have to return a string so i'll say string then let me call my method as balanced string okay and the input is string s okay now there are few certain ways that you can mark the invalid character so you can actually keep track of the index where you are seeing a invalid character invalid bracket right or you can actually um you know change the content of the character by some you know different marker okay something like star okay we can use a star why because the valid characters for the inputs are you know small case characters and opening and closing brackets only right so we can actually use any other character as a marker so let's first convert the string to a character array okay i'll say um, result equal to s dot to char array right now for int i equal to 0 i less than s dot length i plus plus okay when we see a opening bracket we will push to the stack right and when we see a closing bracket we pop from the stack the same logic will apply here so we are using a stack so i'll add a stack here okay stack character so st equal to new stack okay c h a r a okay now if result i equal to a opening bracket then then we have to push to our stack right so i'll say uh, let's just copy this into a character first so that we do not have to type it again again so c this should be c push c okay now else we could have just added a else and pop from yeah pop from the stack but we are actually dealing with some lowercase characters also so we have to mention else if c equal to closing bracket right then we'll just pop from the stack 
this is good if we have already pushed some opening bracket to this stack. But if there is nothing in the stack, that means stack is empty. And at that time, if we see a closing bracket, that means it's a invalid character. This is the character that we want to mark. Okay, before this pop operation, if st dot is empty, if it is empty, and we are looking at a character which is closing bracket, that's a invalid bracket, invalid character. So I'll say uh, result i i am marking right now okay with star character okay so yeah so mark this character as an invalid character which is star okay do not just break the loop or you know return from here saying that it's invalid no we have to return a string making it valid okay so but after this for loop remember that if the stack is empty it is a balanced string it might so happen that stack can have opening bracket so there could be some opening bracket which are present in the stack okay so now what we can do we can actually mark all those opening brackets also as invalid characters okay and that cannot be done inside the first for loop so we will do another loop here okay so while stack is not empty okay empty while stack is not empty, we'll mark those characters as also invalid character. Yeah, but in the stack, what we did here, we have actually pushed the characters, not the index. So what we'll do instead of characters, we will actually push the location of the characters, location of the brackets, okay? So we'll push the location, so it will be integer, and then we'll push i here, okay? Finally, okay, result has all the characters. So result of st dot pop. St dot pop will give us the index of all the opening bracket remaining in the stack. Okay, equal to star. Okay. Now after this, we are actually done. We have a character array where all the invalid brackets are marked as star. So what we need to do right now, we just have to return another string by copying only the valid characters, okay? It in place int uh, i equal to zero for int j equal to zero, j less than s dot length, j plus plus, so I'm doing in place here, okay? Result j, not equal to star okay then i am copying it to another string right so in, instead of copying what i'll do whatever is easy for you you can do it but i'm just shifting the characters here okay copy the valid valid characters okay this is what i'm doing here so i'll say result and then i plus plus equal to result j okay finally return string result dot substring 0 to i i'm not sure if you followed this but let me simplify a little bit for you uh, what i can do string builder okay string builder sb equal to new string builder and now for int i equal to 0 i less than s dot s dot length i plus plus and if the character so i'll say if result i is not equal to star that's a valid character so i'll just copy it to my string builder right so sb dot append right result i and finally after this for loop return 
sb dot toast right so yeah stack result push else else if is empty set star oh okay here we have to set else here okay mistake yeah. this is this is very important guys okay i missed it but when empty we set star else we pop okay then we have another while loop where we are setting the invalid characters for the remaining opening bracket and finally we are copying the valid characters okay good i think yeah this is it and uh, this is my solution guys this is really very simple question but this is again very frequently asked interview question litcode 1249 is very similar to what we solved right now okay again as i said we can optimize it little further by you know working on the same character array instead of the string builder so int i equal to 0 and start the for loop int j equal to 0 j less than s dot length and j plus plus if result j not equal to star then result i plus plus equal to result j and finally we can return a new string result and substring from 0 to i okay i hope this will be a little faster 81 percent right now let's see if we can improve this yeah so 91 percent okay we can further optimize this by removing the stack and working upon one counter okay because finally after this for loop we will be left with some n number of opening brackets so what we can do we can actually start from the end and we can remove all those open bracket anyway the time complexity is again o of n here and so here we have to use some extra space so yeah uh, linear time and space i would say okay o of n o of n okay thanks so for watching guys and this is my channel i am not going to do thousands of problems in the lit code in my channel but i would like to you know target certain questions which are very very helpful to you know open your thought process for cracking a coding interview you can encourage me by subscribing or liking my videos stay tuned and see you next time until then bye take care